Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. The Mercury will be reaching high levels today in this matchup between the Arkansas State Indians and the Crimson Tide of Alabama. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here comes the Crimson Tide. The Indians look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? The same thing, Kurt? Alabama looks no further than this young man when asked why they play such great defense. His coverage ability allows his defense to take more gambles with blitzes, and I don't think it'll be any different in this one. All right, here you go, kids. I'm taking hammer. Roll tide. Well, there it is. You heard it, folks. Now let's take you down to the captains at midfield. Arkansas State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He sends it downfield. Number nine fields it at the 13. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. I would just sell the run here and look for my receivers to make a play. They'll set up shot at the 32-yard line. Arkansas State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Over the middle. His receiver has it. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. Looked like the linebackers bid on that play pick. I didn't even know the quarterback had the ball. That's worth it. Yo. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Number 38 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Play action. He looks down the middle. Oh, great catch. That's a first down right there. Yeah, if I was the defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. And this quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finding the open receiver. As a coach, you got to do some different things to keep that defense guessing out there. They line up at the 29. First down. Drops back down first down. He passes it, and that one's fallen incomplete. He let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time. He'll get the next one. It's second and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Alabama lines up with three receivers. Looking to throw. Surveys the field. Throws it out there. They can't connect. Incomplete. Number 83 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it third down. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 29. Alabama lines up for the shotgun set. Looks. Number 14. Unload. And he's tackled at the 19. And that pass and catch gives him a first down. Yep, they got the first down. But it wasn't by much, you guys. First and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. High formation here. Back to pass. Let's it fly. Complete. What a catch. That one worked pretty well. It's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. They're threatening inside the 20. High formation, looking for six. Caught, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. That blitz was coming pretty hard that time, Kirk. There was just nowhere for the running back to go. Great penetration by this defense. 
Only seven yards for a touchdown. Play fake. Looks to the end zone. Touchdown time. What a perfectly thrown ball by this young quarterback. He's gone through a rapid maturation. That's elevated the level of play for his teammates. I was a scout. I made sure I paid lots of notebook paper to this young man's game. You think I'd want you to go for two here? Uh -uh. No way. So they're ready for the extra point. He makes the PAT with about three minutes to play remaining here in the first quarter. Our score, Alabama, seven, Arkansas State, nothing. Alabama is lining up to kick this one off. Number 34 and number 19 keep to return. He kicks off. Number 34 takes it at the four. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. Today we got a very good tailback going up against a pretty weak linebacking core. Do you think the offense will be able to exploit that? You betcha they will. This running back is as good as they come, and I think they'll give this kid the ball, and he'll make a statement early today. I'm with you on that one, Scooter. This team does everything possible to get this kid the ball. If he has trouble running the ball, then they'll line him up in the slot and throw it to him. He creates mismatches all over the field. And I don't think this defense is good enough to keep him quiet today. Number five is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He drops back. He unloads it. It's complete. He's tackled at the 39. Nice play there to pick up the first down. Kirk, that was quite an acrobatic catch. They don't get much better than that. No doubt. He did a great job of getting up in the air, ignoring the defenders, and coming down with the ball. Number 17 has four receivers lined up here. Feeds it to the back. He tackles him for a loss. And the blitz might have caused that one. Well, the defense took a chance here. They overloaded that side of the ball, and the tailback had nowhere to go. From their own 38-yard line. Second and 11 coming up. Arkansas State in a four-wide set. Here's the option. And he stopped behind the line. Third down, 14 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Drop back to pass. Looking. He's under some heat. They'll sack him at the 28-yard line. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Arkansas State lining up the punt. Number 14 is waiting for the snap. He gets it away. Number 22 takes it to 36. Nowhere to go there. Nowhere is right. He's lucky he got any yards on that return. Great job of getting downfield and making the tackle by the coverage team. Alabama sets up in the eye. He drops back. Looks. Down the middle. Complete. What a catch. The defense was coming with heat on that play. Yeah, but the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignment. That gave his quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. It's just a matter of pitch and catch. So go get it done. It's first down.
Hits the ball. No, oh, they faked it. He flings it. And he's got him on the run. Tackle at the 21 yard line. That's the first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. This quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finding the open receiver. We've got a first and ten. <laughs> on play action. He tries to spin. And they hit him in the backfield. What I do is throw it right here. You got to give your players a chance to make the play and make the first down. They line up at the 29. We've got a second and long. Number 14 with three wide receivers. Back to pass. They'll make the sack. Yo, that's a bunch of yards ago. And as a player, you just got to know how far you need to go to make that first down. The Crimson Tide line up with a single set backfield. He's looking, looking long to the right, and got him! And he's all the way down to the nine-yard line. How about that first down on a spectacular play? Boy, here is just a receiver making a big play. The pass was well thrown, but how about the receiver to find the first down? This is awfully close. As long as you don't make any mistakes, you can come away with some points. Preferably a touchdown. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold him this time. He grabbed that one for his second touchdown of the half. And that second touchdown pass was just as pretty as the first one. This guy's good. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. And he converts the extra point. So down to just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score, Alabama 14, Arkansas State nothing. Alabama gets set to kick this one away. Number 34 and number 19 set to return. Kicks it off. Number 34 takes from the 10. He's hit and got away. There's a fumble. Picks up the loose ball. And a big change in momentum right here, Kirk. And you know what? When the other offense takes the field, I say they go for the home run on the very first point. I like your thinking, Kirk. They always say a defense is most vulnerable after a turnover. That's right, coach. If I were calling the shots, that's what I would do. Alabama comes out with an eye formation. They run a counter. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. Number 38 gains eight yards on that play. I'd spread out the offense and let my quarterback zip the ball in there. You only need a few more yards for a score. Number 38, alone in the backfield. On the ground with the tailback. He's taken down at the 16. He picked up a first down on that run, Coach. Yep, and you know, if you can pick up a few more first downs on the ground like that, it will really open up the play-action pass. After a quarter of play, our score is Alabama 14, Arkansas State nothing. You just got to make sure that you're gaining positive yards on the run because you're almost there. We've got a first and 10. They're inside the 20. One man backfield. They hand it off again. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. They line up at the 17. Second down. Alabama sets up in the eye. Can't have him up. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. 
The halfback couldn't get any running room. And that was because the defense had called a blitz just at the right time. He went right through the offensive line and nailed him for a loss. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 18-yard line. Number 14 comes to the line with three wide. He's rolling right. Let's it fly. Got it to him on the run. Nice play call to get on the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they convert a third and long, it just makes them sick. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. They give to the tailback. And he gets the touchdown. Nothing complicated about that one, Coach. The halfback took it in for six. You're right. It doesn't have to be 150 to give him the end goal. So good Just kick the extra point, sweetheart. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Over four minutes remain in the second quarter, and our score is Alabama 21, Arkansas State nothing. Alabama ready to kick this one off. He sends it off. Number 19 fields it at the seven. He breaks it at the 30. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 37. the 40 to the 20 to the 10 touchdown Arkansas State what a weapon this running back is tell you what this guy makes the defense look silly out there they're falling all over themselves trying to get him on that one here's the Pontiac game-changing performance so the kicking team will line up for the point after the PAT. Over four minutes remain in the second quarter, and our score is Alabama 21, Arkansas State 7. Arkansas State is lining up to kick this one off. Number nine and number 22 back deep to return, kicks it off. Number nine takes it at the 16, at the 40. Across midfield, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Guys, what do you think about that one? I'll tell you what, this kid is a real playmaker. You know what, Lee? Sheer determination displayed right there. He set his sights in the end zone and would not be denied. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. And he adds the extra point. And with four minutes to go in the second quarter, our score, Alabama, 28, Arkansas State, 7. Alabama to kick this one off. He kicks it off. Number 19, adds with the five. Last time this offense had the ball, they ran it very well, and they put it in the end zone. They have to see if that's their focus one more time. They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. Arkansas State comes out with an eye formation. Toss. Tackle made at the 27. Number two gets about a yard on the play. That'll bring up second down. From their own 27-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Arkansas State sets up in the eye. Tosses left. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. 
He's all the way home. Touchdown. And he manages to find the end zone for the second time this half. Yeah, he's really finding his way into the end zone. He's off to a great start. And here's our Pontiac game-changing performance. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. He makes the PAT. And there was contact after the kick. What are they going to call here? Running into the kicker on the defense. Number nine is back ready to receive, and boy, has he been the game breaker on special teams today. He sends it off. Number 22 takes it at the eight. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. You know what? This is a good time to execute the plays you practiced all week. They'll line up at the 25. First down. Play fake. Looking. He throws it. And it's picked off. That was a nice interception. With the way that receiver was covered, that was an easy pick. Excellent field position to start the drive. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop at the 25-yard line. Number two comes away with two yards on the carry. It's second down and eight to go. Hand off to the right. There's an attack. And he hits him hard at the 25. What a big hit by that defender. He laid a lick into him. They'll line up at the 25. It's third and eight. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. It falls incomplete. And now it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. This will be about a 42-yarder. He gets it up. And the field goal is good. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. Number nine already has one kick return that went for a touchdown. Let's see if they kick it to him again. Short kickoff. Number 22 takes it to 14. There's a missed tackle. Not a lot of trouble scoring the last time they had the ball. Let's see if that passing game does the trick again. They'll get the ball here at the 41. Drops back on first down. Incomplete. Number zero was the intended target, so that'll make it second down. 
you know what? This is a good time to execute the plays you practiced all week. From their own 41-yard line, it's second and 10. They'll work from the shotgun. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. Complete. What a catch. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Alabama lines up with three receivers. They'll throw on first down. Got it to the senior. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. First one foul. Walking the pass. The officials march off 15 yards against the defense. And when the quarterback releases the football, you can't do that kind of stuff. It's bad for your team, and it makes you look like a fool. What's interesting is that you think it's easier when you get close to your opponent's end zone. Not so fast, my friend. It is actually harder to move the ball because the defense has the same number of guys in a smaller field to play with. He looks across the middle. He came down with it. Touchdown. The quarterback is just having a great game so far. He's had absolutely no problem finding the end zone. The other passing game is clicking on all cylinders right now. The defense just hasn't been able to figure out how to stop this passing attack. Well, they better figure something out pretty quick. But this quarterback's going to end up having a career day on these guys. Just add the point after touchdown. Here's the try for the extra point. Splits the uprights for the extra point. Though with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Alabama 35, Arkansas State 17. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends it off. Number 19 fields it at the seventh. Bounces off a would-be tackler. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shop at the 27. They're really struggling now. This crowd is going absolutely insane. Drops back on first down. He'll dump it short, and it falls incomplete. The tailback, the intended target. I hear the quarterback put just a little bit too much on the ball and overthrew him. From their own 27-yard line, second and 10. Drops back to pass. He delivers. It's intercepted. They're really digging themselves in a hole now. That interception was not what they were looking for. Yeah, they've had a really bad first half. They're going to have to stage some sort of comeback in the second half. It's just a matter of pitch and catch. So go get it done. They'll start this drive at the 45-yard line. Take over at the 45-yard line. First and 10. Number 14 with three wide receivers. Looks to pass. They brought him down for the sack at the 47-yard line. The Tide are lining up with three receivers. They bring the quarterback down. The Crimson Tide take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining.
It's a big down right here. You gotta throw in this situation. It's third down and a long way to go. Ball on the 39. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back. He's looking. Moves up in the pocket. Throws it deep. Got it. They'll bring him down at the 30. A lot of shoving while the pass was in the air. Let's get the call. Pass on the on the defense. Tell your quarterback to stand in there and make a play. First down. Play action. Rifles this one out to the left. Got him again. He's all the way down to the five-yard line. This kid just continues to impress us with his ability to catch the football. He's already gone over 100 yards here in the first half. Good ass this defense. Who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. I just let the players go out there and have some fun here. And we take a quick look at the stats from inside the 20-yard line. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. Experience is everything. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Look. Throws. Someone got a hand on it. And that one's fallen incomplete. Poor decision to throw it into such tight coverage. When you can smell the end zone, you know you're right there. Now smelling it and tasting it are two different things. you got to be able to taste the end zone because it means six points. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He throws a dart. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Looked like the defense just forgot about the tight end on that play. Yeah, he seemed to slip right through the secondary and find an opening. I can't believe the defense allowed that to happen. Especially in the red zone, Kirk. They gotta be aware of this guy's pass catching ability. Now they'll try to tack on the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter. And our score is Alabama 42, Arkansas State 17. Alabama gets set to kick this one away. Number 34 and number 19 back to return. Decent kick. Number 19 fields it at the nine. Defense won the last battle as they were able to pick the ball off. He's going to win this time. We've got a first and ten. Inside give. He tackles him for a loss. Nowhere to go on that play, Coach. Boy, you're absolutely right, Brad. This is a great job by the defense in not giving him any room create anything. Number two is the deep back as they line up in the eye.
kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off. Number 34 takes it at the four. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. Lines up in the shotgun. He's looking to pass. He throws. The ball is tipped. Number 19 was the intended target on the play. That'll make it third down. They line up at the 20. Third down. the middle and he brings it down he's tackled at the 32 they'll get a good chunk of yards on that play but they're still looking at fourth down maybe that will perk these guys up a bit and get them going on the next drive the indians line up the punt number 22 is the deep man awaiting the return punts the ball away Jukes him. Number 22 fields at the 29. He couldn't make anything happen on that punt return. Yeah, well, there wasn't much he could do in a situation like that. There were just too many tacklers around him. The offense will take over at the 29. The defense comes out in the dime package. Fakes to the back. He's in trouble. And he's sacked. In this long yard situation, you just got to go out there and perform your best. Second and long coming up here. The tide. Go with the eye formation. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. They brought the house on that one. And this kid shows a lot of poise and moxie in the pocket. He knew he was going to get hit. He hung in there and delivered the ball with accuracy. got to play the game with a passion. I love the kids that love the game of football. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 43. Number 38 lines up in the deep back. High formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. Great penetration in the backfield. For such a big guy, this guy's got some really quick feet. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. There's the play fake. Looks. He rifles it to the left. And he's got him again. And with that last pass, Coach, this quarterback's gone over 300 yards for the game. A very impressive performance indeed. some motion here and try to confuse the defense. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Tide come out in the ace formation. He drops back. Surveys the field. He's going to go for the home run. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He just overthrew them on that one. Quarterback has to make those passes. You can't overthrow a guy like that. In this situation, you got to trust the quarterback's decision-making. Second down and 10 to go. 
Ball on the 43. He drops back. He's looking. He lets it go. Got it to him on the run. He's taken down at the 22. And they're building some great momentum on this drive, guys. That's right, Brad. That was a crisp pass by the quarterback. They were looking pretty good moving the ball right now. As a quarterback, you've got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. We've got a first and ten. Number 38 lines up as a single back. Looking, rifles it over the middle, and he brings it down. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Holding. Only off the Still They'll be called for an infraction. That will put them back a few paces. Man, the coaches are going to have to talk to these young guys about committing unnecessary fouls. In this situation, I want my quarterback to be comfortable enough with the offense to be able to audible out of the play we call. One man back to you. On play action. Surveys the field. He guns it to the left. Complete. What a catch. And he threw that ball in there nicely. Did you see that, Coach? Yes, I did, Brad. And that was a good pass and a very good game. When you're in the red zone, you're real close. But close is not good enough. You got to come away with a touchdown right here. And we take a quick look at the stats from inside the 20-yard line. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. Experience is everything. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. What I do is throw it right here. You got to give your players a chance to make the play and make the first down. Alabama comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. He looks across the middle. And it's incomplete. He couldn't hang on to that one, guys. Well, I can't blame him for dropping that one. Did you see how hard that ball was thrown? Well... I try and get three points here. They're going to try a long field goal here. The ball's on the 23, so this will be about a 40-yarder. This is to add to an already impressive lead. It's up. And it's good. He had no problems putting the upright with that one, Kirk. Yeah, that one looked like cake for this kid. Chalked up three points for the offense. Alabama ready to kick this one off. Number 34 and number 19 back ready to return. And this one's a short kick. Number 34 fields it at the 11. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? Exactly. He was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow bowl replay to recap that. The Indians. Line up with a single set back to you. Here's a handoff, left side. He tackles him for a loss. Taken back three yards. They'll line up at the 25. Second and 13 coming up here. Down he goes at the 26-yard line. Number two gets about a yard on the play. So that'll make it third down. They line up at the 26. Third down. Arkansas State sets up in the eye. Across the middle. And he's got it. Going the other way now. Keep the ball on the ground and make something happen. They'll start at the 35. 
The Crimson Tide come out in the ace formation. Play action. Look. They bring him down. Let's see how well you can run this play. From the 45-yard line. Second and long coming up here. Alabama lines up for the shotgun set. Looking to throw. Looking. Slings it. Oh, great catch. Boy, did he zip that ball in there. Yeah, you're right. There's not a whole lot of quarterbacks out there that can make this throw. He delivers this one right where it has to be. Great arm strength. I tell my quarterback to make sure that the receiver is beyond the first down marker. And it's a clear path to the first down marker. The tie. Line up with a single set back to you. He looks. Rolls right. Number 14. Swings it over the middle. And they tackle him at the five. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. When you're in the red zone, you're real close. But close is not good enough. You gotta come away with a touchdown right here. As we go to the final quarter of play, this one is almost wrapped up. Our score here, Alabama 45, Arkansas State 17. This is awfully close. As long as you don't make any mistakes, you can come away with some points. Preferably a touchdown. Alabama comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Guns it to the end zone. Touchdown time. You know, I talked about this guy's throwing ability before the game, but nobody really expected these types of numbers. Five touchdowns? That's just amazing. They're setting up for the PAT. He makes the PAT. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score, Alabama 52, Arkansas State 17. Alabama lines up for the kickoff. Number 34 and number 19 peak to return. Short kick, you didn't get a hold of that one. Number 34, fields it at the 11. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing the pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? As you know, a quarterback needs a short memory, so I really don't remember, Scooter. You know better than that. <laughs> one man back for you. They hand it off. He juked him out of his shoes. Four yard gain by the back. Gain of four on the play. They line up at the 23. Second down. The Indians line up in an eye formation. They bring him down in the backfield. Not a very good run there. The counter is a tough play to defend, but it's also a tough play to run. Yeah, if everyone isn't in sync, then you get a result like this last play. Arkansas State comes out in the shotgun. Looks to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it. He goes up. Picked off. Here we go again. Interception by the defense. Oh, man. Is there anything they can salvage at this point, Coach? Not much, except maybe put in some younger players to get some game experience. This game is over.
If you're not excited about playing football, then you should be on the sideline watching. We'll see if they can capitalize on the good field position. They'll throw on first down. Look, throwing right. This one is incomplete. The receiver did all he could do to make that play. The pass was just too far out of bounds. Just go up and let your receivers make a play. It's second and 10. Ball on the 30. Look at the throw. Looking. He's looking for his man. Got it. And he's all the way down to the two-yard line. Seems like they've been able to do that all day, Coach. The defense was just sleeping on the play. When you let an offense come at you like that, time and time again, then it's hard to win a ball game. You don't have far to go, so keep it on the ground and get your team six points. Now's the time when experience really comes into play. Let's have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. They've got all the big boys in for this one. Looks, lets it go. He's got the fullback. They'll bring him down at the one. Just a yard there. This is fun right here, guys. It's just us versus them. And the team with more will and determination and drive's going to come out on top. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Nice play fake. The Cavalry's coming, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. What I do is throw it right here. You gotta give your players a chance to make the play and make the first step. Alabama comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. Looking. Throws off balance. He snags it. He's taken down at the five. A seven yard play. This is why you have a kicker. Let the kid do his thing. So it's fourth and goal from the five, and the offense is still on the field trying to put this in for six. Alabama comes out in the shotgun, drops back to pass. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. After that sixth touchdown pass of the day, I don't know what else you can say about this. I don't think anything's left. He's a great quarterback having a career day. How much else he can say? All you need is one. Set out the kick team. They'll line up for the extra point here. And he adds the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And the score is Alabama 59, Arkansas State 17. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends it off. Number 34, as at the five. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Hopefully we'll see the offense move this ball up the field a little bit. Yeah, Coach, they really haven't had too much success today. But this is an opportunity for them to get their team back on track and build some confidence going into the next game. With the way the scoreboard looks, I suppose they thought, why not try a new quarterback? They'll get in for a loss. They came with a blitz that time and got to the tailback for the loss. They line up at the 19. It's second down. Tackled at 
at the 21. Two-yard carry by the fullback. From their own 21-yard line, it's third and nine. Looks to pass. Throws it to the outside. Brought down in the open field. I like that play call. Anytime you can get a first down on third and long, it keeps your defense off the field and gives you an opportunity to get more points. Now this worked to perfection, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this play again later in the game. First and ten. Ball in the 31. The Indians go with the I formation. And he stopped behind the line. Loss of one there for the halfback. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 30. Number five is the deep back as they line up in the eye. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. They'll grab 10 yards there. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. Number five lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. They're going to pitch it. At the 40. To the 20. To the 10. I'm pretty sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. Nice call, nice blocking, and an even better run. Those guys up front must have been hitting those sleds pretty hard in practice. The only reason this kid was able to show his big play ability was because the offensive linemen executed their assignments to perfection. And they line up for the point after. Tacks on the extra point. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Alabama 59, Arkansas State 24. Looks like we're about to see the most exciting play in football, the onside kick. Here's the onside kick. Well, folks, that pretty much wraps this one up. All they can do now is watch the clock tick away. But it wouldn't have mattered even if they recovered it. This one's been over for a while now. Got him for a loss. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here, the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. From the 38-yard line, it's second and 13. The Tide come out in a two-tight end set. Back to pass. Looks. Number 14 delivers, and it falls incomplete. Tight end had some trouble holding on to that one. Can you blame him? Did you see how hard he got hit? He did get hit pretty hard, but come on, coach. You have to hang on to the ball. Sweetheart, easy for you to say you're here in the booth. He looks, throwing right, and he brings it down. And he shoved out of bounds at the 15-yard line. What a day! This receiver just tied the school record for receptions in a single game. There isn't anybody in this conference who can cover this guy, maybe even the country. This kid is fantastic. I'll tell you what, this receiver has played one of the best games I've ever seen. Not only his ability to make the catch, but what he can do after the catch is what separates him. They're going to flag the celebration there. And sportsmanlike conduct on the offense. First down. With the lead and the ball, you don't want to do anything stupid here. Just hold on to the ball and stay in bounds. The Crimson Tide come to the line with their jumbo package. On play action. Rose. 
And it's the tight end. Talk about a throw. Does this kid have an arm or what? I'm telling you, this thing is like a laser beam coming out of his hand. Boy, you're right. What a cannon this young man's got. The Crimson Tide call for a timeout, and that was their first timeout. You gotta protect the football here. Nothing fancy, it's just hard goes running. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 15 yard line. Alabama lines up in a goal line set. Play action. He's looking. Across the middle. Completes another one. He's tackled at the one. And that's the end of the ball game. What are your final thoughts on this game, Kirk? Well, it looks like we called this one right. Arkansas State knew they didn't stand much of a chance, but they probably would have liked to keep it a little bit closer than it ended up. There's just not a whole lot you can do when you're facing such a talented team like that. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Alabama 59, Arkansas State 24. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time.